Blah blah. Right. Um. There. Yeah, full start. That because fucking for some reason Vegas. When you speed up the media, like this took two hours to record. Fucking grinding session. Uh, like you speed up the media, and instead of just you know trimming it down to the actual length of the media and sped up in times four speed, it just plays it four times within the same time frame. So yeah. Anyway, it's done now. Whatever, right? We're grinding, grind session. This is this entire video is just going to be the grind session because I just kind of needed to get out of the way, um, basically. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to fucking resize it to whatever it needs to be, um, basically. Although I thought that was going to be a simple case of just dragging shit, but now it's probably not. So fuck it. What are you going to do? I'll figure it out. But yeah. Um, Things to think about with the grinding, because there's, there's not an awful lot to think about other than I just have to grind, but there are a couple of things. Um, the only two main points of contention, if you will, are early grinding on Bajus and um, fucking Machop. Because grinding up Machop, Machop doesn't heal itself when it kills shit, um, so in theory, potion can be wasted. Um, but yeah, it's just making sure that neither of the Bajus die and Machop doesn't die, because Machop can and will end up taking a feral bit of damage. So, you know, it's, that's, that's pretty much it. As long as that doesn't happen, we're pretty much gravy. It, other than that, it's just trying to distribute it decently, evenly. Um, this is also certainly not going to be the most efficient use of uh, PP or my time, but it's like, eh, I I'm not that. I'm not going to be, like, really hardcore about it, because the only way you can really be hardcore about it is by just grinding onyxes, and that would take this from two hours of recording to, like, ten hours trying to get those fuckers to show up um, frequently, so I can't be bothered. Um, the lowest I go for, um, Pokemon-wise, is basically level, level six Geodudes and up, um, and level... Well, no, level 6 Geodudes and up, and then any Onyx you get, just kill it. Because they're just, they're fucking great. They give so much extra experience, it's mental. So, that's the way I try and do it. That's kind of what I went with. And, um, yeah, basically, that's about it. Other than that, like, it's just trying to distribute it. Make sure you get Abrid level 16, Turtwitch level 14, and then I just sort of shuffle it around however I want. Um, in my test run, I got Zubat to level 13 from level 7. In this, I only get him to level 11 from 8. Um, what, part of the reason for that is, well, um, I gotta make a snap decision in this to, um, not potion up Machop. Machop does get to level 15, and he gets quite low, but he's still got quite a bit of PP left. But it's like, considering that I usually blow through all the resources I have doing this grinding thing, it's like, I would rather have the extra potion for health's sake. Um, because I don't necessarily need the extra levels that badly, even though I'm grinding for them, I know, but it's like, I would rather have resources at this stage, um, than, like, say, maybe an extra half a level on Zubat or an extra level or whatever. The other side of it is, I do end up using Machop's PP when I can to start grinding up Turtwig a bit, so Turtwig comes out of it with more Absorb PP, uh, if you like, so uh, it's the only thing, but anyway, it kind of, I kind of end up where I want to be, I can grind Zubat up on other things, because, um, let's face it, he gets Leech Life and he gets Astonish. Leech Life, um, will probably just be used on other Bajus when I can find a more reasonable spot to find the fucking things, and Astonish, well, there's Ghastlies in the forest coming up later on, so I'm probably just gonna go find a bunch of Ghastlies, kick the crap out of them, get some decent experience, and well, hey. The only problem being that Astonish is so pathetically weak that I probably still won't kill them that efficiently, but there you go. Anyway, I believe that pretty much outlines it. Um, the only reason, I, like I say, you want Machop at level 15 so you can get Abra to level 16 and then Sikadabra. Um, main point with that is I don't think you can actually use Abra without it telling you to go fuck yourself for a fair old bit. Which is its own problem. It's a ball ache, but you've got to kind of roll with that one. Um, Abra is certainly worth, or Kadabra certainly is worth having whatever it does, you know, however rude it may be, just because it's that fucking powerful at this early stage in the game. It just has monster stats. Um, Confusion has a lot of PP. It has a decent move pool. Why not? Um, it will be helpful later on um, if I can finagle it right. 
Ideally, I want Thunderbolt, but I can't get Thunderbolt until after the Water Gym. But, you know, you do get Shockwave, um, so it will be helpful. I think the only problem I've got with my Kadabra is that I think it said it was fucking quiet, which isn't ideal because I'm going to end up speed tying with something later on, and it's like, oh. But oh, like I say, I'll figure it out. After this, I'm just going to wing it, so. No idea how it's going to work out. It might work out well, it might be shit. We'll see how we do. Um, uh, anyway, uh, I think that about covers it, I think. I don't even know how I'm going to grind up Zubat, to be honest. I'm just going to try and get him. I think he gets bite fairly quickly, and then he gets wing attack after it. So once he's got those two moves, he can fucking do something. But until then, we're kind of just seeing how we do, basically. Um... But yeah, for some reason, this Pajou is pathetic, and I had a look, and it's actually Impish, and it's like, oh, brilliant, wonderful, thank you, game. That's that's exactly what I needed, an Impish Pajou. That's so fucking helpful, it's unreal. Brilliant. So, yeah, the Pajous I got were pretty naff, so that's wasted more PP. It's like, bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, I like that. I think that probably about covers it. There really isn't that much else to say, other than it goes fine. I, I get Kadabra to 16, and I get uh, Wig to 14. Those are my goals, and I got there, so, you know, I'll take it. The only reason I want Turtwig at 14 is because the Rock Gym can be a bit iffy. Like, I think the first time I tried it, I was level 12, and I got my ass kicked, so it's like, I 14 for safety's sake, it should work out pretty well. Um, and I can repay, you know, I can pay the PP forward later on when I'm going to get rid of um, Turtwig. Because he, is, he isn't going to be a permanent member. So, at some point, it will pay itself back and someone will get PP from him. So, yeah, he's there. Anyway, um, I now have to try and fill another 23 minutes of dead air. I oh, know, 24, because I rambled at the start. Um, things that happened. New Pokemon came out. Whoa. Again, it's like, stop fucking oversaturating it. I get it. Everyone wants to know what the new Pokemon are, but can't you really not keep a tighter lip on it? Please? Really? But anyway, the ones that they revealed was it? Alolan Meowth, which is dark type, and uh, Ghostfire Marowak, which actually looks pretty sexy. I'll give them Ghostfire Marowak. That's pretty cool. Um... Uh, what else was it? There was one more, I swears it. I swears it. In fact, yeah, I can just leave this in the background. Hang on. Let me go fucking open up one of my many things. Uh, a load of forms. It was... Raichu, that's it. Electric Psychic Raichu, which actually looks pretty cool. And it has the ability Surge Surfer, which is actually kind of interesting. Um... Because it doubles speed when electric terrain is activated. Now, I was thinking, well, hey, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, because fucking it's electric terrain. Fucking everything gets electric terrain. So, uh, an electric terrain boosts electric moves by one and a half. So, you get electric terrain and put a life orb on it. And then it's like, you've got stupid powerful electric moves and double speed. That actually sounds pretty fucking overpowered, all things considered. Um, but then I had a look at it, and the only thing that gets electric terrain that's Pikachu is the weird scientist nerdy Pikachu, the cosplay one, and I'm like, oh. Uh, so, I don't know. It would be. I want them to explore the terrain moves more because they've always been cack and there's no real reason to use them, so it would be interesting if they actually made more effort to integrate them. But, um,. Yeah, that's certainly not helping. So hopefully he does learn electric terrain, because why not? Um, but yeah, if he gets it, it should actually go a fair old ways to making Raichu, um, you know, like one of the more potent electric types. The only thing that is really in the back of my mind is it's like, does it do Alolan Pikachus evolve into Alolan Raichus? Like, does it have, is Pikachu going to get his own electric psychic? And is that going to have to evolve into Raichu? Or can you get a Pikachu from somewhere, you know, from another game, bring it over, and then evolve that into an Alolan Raichu? Because then it's like, well, fuck, suddenly Alolan Raichu can get, like, Surf and shit. That would be cool. I don't know what you'd do with it, but it's like, the Pikachu's move pool is surprisingly plentiful, so... 
you can certainly do something with it. I don't know. Or if it's going to have its own egg moves and shit. This is this is the things. This is what I want to know. Because I'm assuming... Well, I could be wrong. But it's like, I'm assuming you can get both kinds of that Pokemon in the same regions. You can get a regular Fire Ninetales. And then you can get a, you know, Ice Fairy one. I'm just guessing. Because otherwise it's like, well, okay. If I want to get a regular... Nine tails onto the game, then I've got to go get it from an old one. It's like, ugh, yeah. And then what happens if you want to breed on the new games? Yeah, I'm assuming you can get the classic forms, you know, just normally, basically. But then it's like, how exactly does that feed into evolving into, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know is basically the answer to that. My only problem I've got that, that slightly annoy me about it is the the justifications for the new forms. Like, for some reason, like, I don't care if they have to justify themselves. I don't really give a toss, like, in the context of how it all works. But the, 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 the reason for Alolan Meowth being dark and foppish and a bit gay is that uh, apparently the Alolan royal family bred him to be like that, and it's like, well, fuck, all bets are off now. You can breed Pokemon to come out however you like. Well, I'm going to breed a giraffe to have nine penises and three more heads, because why not? I can do anything over time. You know, if, why, why? Well, sky is suddenly the limit because you felt you had to justify it. So there you go. That's my other point. And the other one was Marowak apparently evolved to deal with or changed type to deal with predators. And it's like, well, what predators? What exactly was Marowak having a problem with that would make him need to become fire ghost? You could go with grass types, but then what about water types? You know, you're trying to make it make sense, and it doesn't make any. Level. It does. It makes less sense when you try and explain it. Just say we did this because we wanted to do it, and we don't want to make mega forms, which really pisses me off. Actually, like I, I really hope that a lowland forms aren't there to replace mega forms, because otherwise that would be shit. Because I like mega forms. You know, all right, they're a gimmick. They're a really, really kind of lazy gimmick, but. Over time, they have actually added something to the game. They have their own unique trade-offs and shit like that. And it's like, oh no, but you get Zed moves instead. It's like, no. No, I don't. I'd rather have Mega Forms with a bit of imagination in it. Thank you. Why not? <laughs> what, what what would the problem be? So yeah, I hope that you know this doesn't mean that Mega Forms are out. Although it kind of would make sense again in the context of it, because you can only find Mega Stones in is Kalos, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever works. But um, yeah, I I I I would st I just don't want to see Megas go because it's like, well, then your current crop of Megas is all you get, and it's like, well, what was the fucking point in that then? But I uh, we'll see. They might they might carry on with them, or maybe they'll leave it for a game, bring out the Alolan forms, and then come back because it's like, well, all right, Alolan forms. Surely that's going to be something fairly restricted to Alola, unless you're going to suddenly say, oh, these forms were fucking everywhere. No one found them. Ah, oh, you see, we're still trying to provide context to a situation that doesn't need context. Um, so there you go. That's kind of my thoughts on it. Um. I, yeah, it's a thing. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do come up with, though, but it's like, either way, you know, you, I, I would prefer Megas to a Lowland Forms, because why not? And then it's like, alright, you've taken the time to give them new typing, redesign their sprites, uh, presuming giving them new move pools and probably different stats, just make new fucking Pokemon. Please. <laughs> why not? Speaking of new Pokemon, they released a few more of them, and they're fine. I, I tend to agree with Robotnik that I haven't got a problem with any of them, realistically. Um, I think if I was going to get rowdy and uppity about the design of something... I, I like Gumshoes, even though his name is fucking stupid. What a stupid name. Because he's got a flat cap, and he looks like a bit of a thug. Um... But, uh, alright, two that I don't like, because, well, no, three, if, well, no, two and a half, two and a half, we'll go with two and a half. Um, 
Brock's ish is the half because it's like it looks like a Pokemon. It looks kind of cool, but it also looks weird, and I'm not entirely sh down with its design. Um, Drampa, the normal dragon. I'm glad there's a normal dragon, but it's like he just looks weird as shit. I I don't like that design at all. Um, and then which is it? Where is it gone? It's in here somewhere. It's the fucking sandcastle one, which is just. I mean, I haven't got a pro. If you want to make a sandcastle Pokemon, you can. I don't know why it does it. I think it's probably the fu fact it's got a fucking shovel in its head. I think. I think that. I don't know why, but for some reason that just takes it from. Hey, you know, all right, ghost and you know, got some sand, and then it's like, oh, it's got a shovel in it. Why's it got a shovel in it? But yeah, I mean, there's been dumber shit that's come before it, so I'm sure at some point I'll warm up to it. But for some reason, that just isn't gelling with me. I don't know why. It's just, I, I, it's not happening. The other one that they um, released, it, well, it is the sea cucumber Pokemon. The um, Pukimu, Puk Pukimuku, um, the, uh, as I am now going to call it, the chocolate starfish Pokemon, because it just has a great big bum hole in the middle of its face. Which fists come out of, and it's like really no one, no one at Game Freak looked at that and thought, eh, that's a bum hole. But whatever, I don't know. I don't design shit. I like the ability though, innards out, even though it's weird. Like the whole premise of it, if it's like, um, you, if when the Pokemon dies, um, it deals the same amount of damage that it that the hit did to kill it. So, um, I'm going to assume, A, that its base HP is 20, just to balance that. But, it's like, if it gets, like, a setup move, like, sp like I don't know, spikes or some shit, that could actually be pretty cool. Like, as a... I, I probably won't, but if it got, like, say, spikes or stealth rocks, it would actually be pretty neat for that. You know, just as a decent entry lead, because, I mean, alright, no one's going to want to fucking hit it, because otherwise it's going to take a crap ton of damage back. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think that actually could be quite interesting. But we'll see how we do. This is the bro like, trying to speculate on this shit when you actually have very little information is a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The, the rest of it looks pretty cool. I don't know. The names are a bit weird, but whatever. I think the other problem I have, not with design. The design of it's great, like that wishy-washy fish thing. I actually think the design's quite cool, and I like the fact that its alternate form is just a bunch of them in one big fish-looking form. However, um, it has the ability to change its form from a single form of a solitary fish to a school form of a large fish made up of lots of little fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, from what I heard, it's um, it's level-based. Which I find, quite frankly, bizarre. Because do you want to know what else is level-based? Evolution! So, its form is crap until it gets to a certain level. And then when you send it out in battle, it evolves. I suppose you could say, in theory, that it's sort of... It's, uh, it's an in between -y mega pokemon you just got a standard form, and then you do something, and it hits a new form. But it's like, well... All you've really done there is make an ability that's entirely fucking useless. Like, unless it does something else, what exactly is the point of having an ability that's dependent on level? You blithering idiot. Unless it evolves into something else, and it, that's its base form, and there's a reason to have it at its base form, then that might redeem it a bit. But if it's the if that's the only like, Pokemon in the evolutionary line, it's like, oh, just make it fucking evolve then, you pillocks. What exactly is the point? I don't know. I, like, it, it's a cool idea in theory, and I can see why they did it, but on the other hand, it's like, no, when you actually put this on paper, it's fucking dumb. But again, lacking context, so I don't actually know whether that's its only, evo you know, only form, if you will. Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, the rest of it's fine. Um, I don't know what this fucking Minior thing is, it's weird, rock flying, that could be cool, I don't see the flying myself, but hey, whatever, um, I don't know, there's stuff, basically, 
The rest of it looks pretty fine to me. I right, get Mudsdale. I like the stamina ability actually. I'm I'm kind of down for that. Like um, well, when you get is it when you get a kill you get boost in defense. Is that it? Is that how I understand it? Incre yeah. Oh no no. Increases the Pokemon's defense. Uh, goes up by one when it's hit by an attack. So that actually seems pretty cool. You know, I, I could certainly see that being pretty interesting. I could also see it being broken as fuck, but, yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see where that one goes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the rest of it's alright. I like the Salandit thing with corrosion, so you can just poison anything you want. And I would like the to Toga Demaru thing if it evolves. Because I look at it and think, right, well, that's an electric mouse. It's not going to evolve then. Because they never fucking do. Wait, like, really? Look at Pachirisu, that poor little shite. It has nothing redeeming about it apart from special defense. It's like, oh, fantastic. But it's like, even then, even if it doesn't evolve, if its stats are kind of half decent, um,. Uh, Iron Bob's Rocky Helmet Mon that can Volt Switch, that would actually be pretty cool. Because for the most part, as far as I, as far as I can remember, all the you know, Iron Barbs or Rough Skin um, Mons basically just kind of static. So that could actually be pretty interesting, a Volt Switching fella. And if it's steel, then maybe it gets stealth frogs. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. But hey, you know, I can see it being pretty neat. So, yeah. Basically, I, don't know, I can't really think of anything else. Um, but yeah. yeah. All in all, it's fine. I ain't got a problem with it. They, all the bow ones seem cool. I just hope they haven't completely abandoned Megas. But they probably have. Because they need a gimmick. And gimmicks sell things. The other other problem I can see is that I get the distinct feeling that they're probably all going to make the Alolan forms Gen 1 Pokemon, because what came out recently that was Gen 1 and was more popular than, well, fucking sliced bread, bloody Pokemon Go. So I get the distinctly horrible feeling that they're all just going to be Gen 1ers, and it's like, that's fine, but I... no, please, you have billions of Pokemon to choose from that all need mega forms in their own unique way, thanks. So, well, different forms, I suppose. But yeah, I don't know, I can see it being pretty neat. Just gotta wait on it, I guess. It's just, it's this sort of thing, like, you're just giving us loads of information to get us hype, and it's like, well, I don't know. I'd rather you just wait and then release the game, and then we can all be really excited. I mean, let's face it, who isn't... Who... Who here, honestly, is going to be swayed to buy Pokemon by all the crap they release? Honestly. I, as far as I can... There's, if you're a Pokemon fan, it's all great, but you were going to buy it anyway. If you're not a Pokemon fan, how exactly is that going to tempt you into buying it? You're just appealing to the same market, and we know we're going to buy the game, so just fucking stop leaking shit from every paw and just let us, you know, because the story mode's crap. Let us enjoy it and be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, who's that guy? But now it's like, well, we know the villain and he's a, he's a, I don't even know what, I don't even know what to call him, to be honest. He's um, a chav, I think is the word. I think it's a chav. Yeah, you know, oh, it's weird. They really, really, I just... When when your villain of your game has basically turned into someone that an old man would totally get off his fucking lawn, it's not... It, it loses something, so I'm expecting that to be crap again, unless, I don't know, maybe because he's just a dude, something might come of it, but I doubt it highly, knowing their track record. Um... Uh... What else do I... I was going to talk about Doom and Wolfenstein, but I don't know. Again, it still kind of needs a longer video for it. But, I don't know, I can't really do it in T-Spike. What I will say is, like I said, just go and buy fucking Doom, because it's well worth your money. It is bloody epic. I suppose the only other thing I've got is for fucking Wolfenstein, is I got decently far into it. Well, no, I completed it, and one of my main points is just, like, the fucking violence towards Nazis is insane. I know I, point, I made that point before, but it really is just... It does get past the point of it's like, alright, they are still people. 
Yes, there are villains in your game that are Nazis, but not every single Nazi was just some brutal, hateful shite weasel. It's like, not every terrorist is... Well, no, most terrorists... Uh, no, no, I phrased that wrong. Not every Muslim is a terrorist. It's that sort of way of looking at it. It's like, that's why fucking we're having an awful lot of problems right now and why people have to face a lot of prejudice because you just group everyone under one subtitle or associate one thing with another thing and it's like, no, that's a bit unfair and closed-minded. But anyway, I shouldn't really be defending Nazis, but I just it, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth because it's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your game. It's fine. It's really good. I like the, you know, the play between the characters and stuff, but it's like it loses something when the Nazis are all just cartoonish jerks. It really does. Like, especially when you take you, they make so much time and effort trying to make the people that you hang around with human and three-dimensional and it's just like all right it works decently well if you have a completely blank stereotypical evil villain to bounce off of but it could have been a lot better if the villains were three-dimensional three as well because it's good you know see both sides of the story especially when the guy you're playing as just wants to kill nazis you could have some interesting play with that but no they're all just pricks so you're gonna fucking drown them in their own piss and stab them in the back of the head good brilliant wonderful or oh, yeah fine anyway that's all i'd say about that really it's just it's something i've been thinking about and it's something that just slightly annoys me because it's like it's you, you wasted potential by doing the thing that makes sense. I don't know. It's weird. It be weird. Um, oh, what else I do about? Oh yeah, fucking last night, me and my mate actually finished Saints Row Get Out of Hell, because that fucking came out, oh, 2015, January 2015, and it's good. It's fine. Like, if you want, it's basically Saints Row 4 again, but a much smaller map, and you can fly. But it really, like, me and my mate managed to finish the entire story, which is pathetic, um, and all the side activities within six hours of play? And it's like, how, how? How have you made an open world game that takes five seconds to finish? Saints Row, t like, four took about 50 hours if you wanted to actually go off and do everything. Like, it easily made up its 50-hour quota. And that was good. Like, the movement... Because like, it was just super, but you couldn't fly, you could glide, but you couldn't fly, and it's like, the movement in that felt a lot more, like, it, it made the city feel a lot more expansive, whereas when you can just fly around it with very little penalty, it's just like, well, alright, it's absolutely tiny, it just reveals the city for what it is, and it's like, yeah. I haven't got a problem with flying, it's great, I think it's a it's the logical conclusion of the whole superpower mechanic that Saints Row 4 brought in, but it's like, you've kind of devalued your own city even more. You can, you know, there is literally no object that you can't scale, because you can just fly over it, and yeah, it's the same thing with Saints Row 4, you can just, you know, run up buildings and jump over it, but it's like, at least it's sort of you had to put a bit more effort and thought into where you wanted to go, as opposed to like, well, I can just go from A to B. <laughs> you know, straight line. Why not? What's in the way? Nothing. Um, yeah. Right, it's not a bad thing. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It's probably like five quid now, so I don't know. Why not? But, um, compared to the thing that actually it's basically drawing inspiration from, i.e., um, Far Cry Blood Dragon which was a much, much, much better and well-thought-out game, and funnier, realistically. Um, it, it does seem a bit... Meh. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just, I, that's a thing that happened. I just thought it was a bit pathetic when you've got a full open-world game and you can fart it out in an afternoon. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm, anyway, I believe I pretty much exhausted everything I wanted to talk about. Pretty much. I mean, I don't know, the new thing I'm watching is, what is it, fucking Log Horizon? Which is basically, like, it's SAO, but a lot smarter and with a bit of heart and charm in it, now that I look at it. Like, Log Horizon makes SAO actually look like crap. Um, I still like SAO, 
but Log Horizon actually answers more interesting... Well, it asks more interesting questions. Whether it actually answers them or not, eh, but it at least poses different questions that are actually a lot more difficult to solve. And I'm like, eh, that's all right. And the characters are more likeable, and they don't lock up the most likeable character in a cage for fucking 15 episodes. So, yeah, it, it has a lot more going for it than SAO. So, you know, I, I like it more. Um, certainly worth the watch, Log Horizon. So, yeah, anyway, I really, I, I am definitely out of things to talk about. Well, I don't know. Anyway, we, we're basically done here. I'm just going to grind Turtwig up to 14, and then that's it. Really? Um, uh, yeah, and then I suppose next time we'll carry on. But after this, it should be pretty much blind. Um, the next stumbling block to really think about is the um, the first hideout of Team whatever the fuck they're called, because the slag's got a perugly and it hits like a train. And I didn't get a fucking Geo, dude. Although I believe I actually noticed something when I was grinding and just thinking to myself. When I tried to catch that Geo, dude, I had six guys in my party. Um, so if I'd have actually managed to catch it, then it would have gone into the box and would have been unusable because I had to damage it to try and get it. So, yeah, I basically dropped the ball on that one. Um, so I wasted the Pokeball regardless out of stupidity. So there you go. That makes it a bit better. No, whatever. Anyway, um, I believe that is it. If you like, uh, no, fuck it, whatever. Um, things. I guess. But yeah, next time we'll actually be proper. This is just... It, it's done now. It's done, it's out of the way, and I'm fucking glad it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the rambliness. Um, but yeah, I, I can't even be bothered to recap. But I, I don't know. I, I need to... I, I, yeah, okay, I think that about sums it up. Right, bye. <laughs>